Hey, this is Market Woody Creative. I'm making a quick uh, video uh, screencast to show how to create and optimize a post for the Genesis website. Uh, this is one that we kind of played with. But I'm going to go ahead and start with a new one where you can go to once you log in. Uh, by the way, you would always log in. In this case, we're in staging, but it would be Genesis Spine really dot com uh, and then forward slash WP admin. That's where you would always go to log in. Um, and uh, if you forget your credentials, you can just tell them that you lost your email, you lost your password, and they'll send you a new one by email. Okay, so once you're in this dashboard, you go to posts, and you can go to add new, or you can go up here to new and select post. So the post obviously is the blog. Uh, the pages are the other content, you know, the homepage, the products pages, etc. So you're going to create a new post, and <clears throat> the name of the post um, that you type up in the in the in the top is essentially what the URL would be, and and, and I'll talk about this in a minute. But it's important that the URL uh, and the name of the post include whatever your focus keyword is. If you want this page to have any kind of optimization, uh, any kind of search engine optimization, um, and this is moving really slowly. I'd, I'd pause it if, if I, the, even the pause button is not showing up here, but I would pause it otherwise. Okay, so let's say this is about, you know, um, new, uh, how I, I, you, you, if, it's, if it's a new product, you probably do want to make it about the new product, but you want to make it generic, like it might be, um, you know, spinal fusion, uh, and then product name. Uh, because this is what people are going to be searching for, Spinal Fusion. So once you do that, you click into the Advanced Layout. Out, you can see it already has created the URL for you. Click the Advanced Layout Editor, and uh, you can open and close these things. By default, this might be closed. So I'll close this, open this. Um, and um, we want to go in here and load a template so you don't have to build it from scratch. So there's a template that's created that starts with the word in. Noel, Noel blog template right there. That just gives you something to start with where um, you've got uh, a little place over here for a, an image and uh, some copy that's three fists and two fists. So the way this will work, um, this there should be an image that's populating here. Maybe it's maybe it's still to come. Um, I think we talked about this, that you can change the size of these. Um, uh, you can click on it to edit it. This is the H1. Um, uh, and, and we're jumping around to the SEO of this. You want, from an SEO standpoint, if you have that spinal fusion, if you can get that into here and say um, spinal fusion is good for, you know, whatever it is, uh, um, you want that to be included up there because Google likes to see that your keyword is included in a big way. Then if you include it in here in the copy, you know, uh, wherever Spinal Fusion is known for, uh, uh, you know, uh, the more times you get it in there, the better, uh, to a certain point, because um, you can definitely overdo it. Okay, this is showing up now. So we talked about this, that if if you don't need a photo, you can delete this or you can move it around, but also you can change that. You can turn this, uh, if you wanted the photo to be bigger, you can make this be smaller, like one-fourth, and this, this can have to one and be... Uh, three fourths, but that would be kind of ridiculous. But or you can make this smaller, one fourth there or whatever, two one third to make this two thirds. Like that. Okay. Uh, and um, so the other things you'll probably have to do, um, you're gonna need to se select some um, if it's a if it's a new product there or if you want to create a new category and call it spinal fusion. You can just do that and hit enter, and now you're in the spinal. You, you've included that category. Ca the tags are more specific. Uh, spinal fusion may be a little specific because these are supposed to be broad, you know, certifications, awards. Spinal fusion might be better as a tag. So the same thing there. If you went spinal fusion, hit it, hit enter. Um, you can also choose from the existing tags. You can see these aren't quite as specific as the categories, uh, but you probably don't do both. Um, okay, so let's close these up so I don't get too much in the way. Uh, the other thing you'll need to do is go to the sidebar settings um, set and set this to right sidebar and then choose the sidebar, which will be called sidebar blog. 
Okay, and then I think the default layout for the footer is correct, but you'll want to change the title to uh, display only breadcrumbs. Uh, so we need to set up three of those things. If you want to create a featured image, um, that's what shows up. Um, this image obviously shows up inside the blog, but in on your blog on your main blog page when it lists all of the blogs chronologically, this is the sort of the thumbnail image that it would pull. So uh, if you want to use that same image, and I can't remember which one it is now, I guess it's maybe this one. Um, you could do that, or you could do something different. So that shows you that, oh, okay, cool. That's going to be your featured image in the blog. So that's setting up the page. Um, if you want to save it as a draft, um, you would click there. It's still not public. The other thing you could do is, if you want to pass it around for other people, change the visibility um, from public to you don't really want to do private because you have to be an administrator to view it, but you can put it, you can change it to password protected and then just write whatever, you know, uh, today or, you know, type some password that doesn't have to be super crazy. And now like people can access the link for this um, and uh, with the password, but they wouldn't be able to do it as a draft. You would need to go ahead and publish it. So you're really not publishing it to the website. And in this case, of course, we're in the staging side anyway, but you're really not publishing it to the website. You are, uh, publish, publish, publishing a page that is password protected, that they have to have a password to see it. So Google's not going to see it. Other people can't see it. The other half of this is the is the SEO, where if uh, Spinal Fusion is your keyword, you type that in there. And uh, um, the um, I always jump down to this excerpt. You might take the first paragraph or something and, and paste it in here. But if it's Spinal Fusion has always been a problem, but with our new product called whatever, um, that's what appears in on the main blog page as sort of the short excerpt. If you don't type that in, it'll just grab whatever the first part of the copy is, but you can control it by typing it in. And I'll usually copy that and come up here and paste it because um, they're showing you in search, it's going to look like this. Essentially, we're going to go grab the title, Spinal Fusion product name, which is pulling from here. And you can change this, by the way, and not change the link. You know, you can change this to something else. Um, like I can call this two or whatever and not change this, but you really want this to be the same. These two to be the same. Um, but so it's going to pull that. Uh, and uh, for this, this heading, and it's also going to whatever you type in here, which I'm going to paste that Spinal Fusion has always been called. Now you can see, oh, it's going to show up there that you're controlling the paragraph that appears in search underneath the main name. Okay, so this is telling you how many characters you have. Um, it's going to grab. It's basically SEO title. It's grabbing the title of the page, uh, but you can overwrite what appears there as well. Um, it also gives you along the way sort of a how are you doing? Well, the focus keyword, you know, it's kind of green, kind of orange. It's actually giving you a, a decent score, which I'm sort of surprised. Um, this is not dynamic if you uh as you as you modify this or as you add your meta description or as you go back up and ch and add the keyword or if you change put the keyword up in here and um, um this 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 value will not change on the fly you'll need to go back up and save um either save it as a draft again and and hit update you need to hit this update to get a new so this is also your score, that little green thing, to get a new score and, and have it tell you exactly how you're faring uh, in terms of your SEO functionality. Don't worry too much about trying to get a completely, you never will get a, all, you'll never get rid of all the red or all the orange probably. In fact, it's mostly green. It's telling you, okay, you did okay. You got a green light, you know, it's good. Uh, the more you can get rid of these things or manage them, like keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. That's easy. You know, keyword density is 0.4%. You need to add it two more times, et cetera. Uh, if there's a link, they love external links. If you can link to some external thing, uh, that's good too. Um, <clears throat> when you're ready to, when other people have reviewed it, you can go up here, change it from draft to, um, to uh, um, well, actually, you would just hit publish. And you would change the password protected to public and hit OK and then publish it and you would be good to go. And I think that's about it. Um, you probably don't need to get too much into adding these kind of elements. If you did have a video, that would be, you can go in here to uh, media elements and grab a video and just dra and drag it into, you can see the color change, you can drag it into there. Or if you wanted it to be over here in the one third column, you can drag it over here. Um, 
if you really wanted to, um, if you wanted to create additional stuff, you could, you can duplicate this. I can clone this column. So when I clone it, you'll see it kind of disappears because, well, it's down here now. And I can make this be the, uh, you know, um, so you have that kind of control and delete this so the image gets pulled back up here. Um, or you can create a whole new, like if I wanted to create a full width of video, easiest way to do it is clone this column and I'll reduce the size of this just temporarily and grab this video, drag it up here like there, and then get rid of this, and then make that be full width. Like there's a couple of ways you can do it like that. So there you go. Uh, I think that ought to do it.